Hi folks, um, I'm going to bring you through the process of adding a tab on your team um, so you can post a link to a Zoom room. This is going to be helpful if you plan on using Teams in your classrooms, either in the fall or beyond, um, and kind of having it be a one-stop shop for students um, so they can navigate to a Zoom room that you might have open for the class or for office hours. So what I have open right now is a test team that I have made. Um, and I highly recommend making one of these so you can play around with things and not have to worry about breaking anything or making it look messy. Um, but what you're going to do in order to add a tab is you're going to go up to this little plus button next to posts and files and you're going to click and you're going to find the app that you want. So the way that we have done this in the CoLab is that we have used SharePoint to add a link because that's kind of the cleanest way that we've been able to do this. We've tried a couple of different ways and SharePoint seems to be the best way. Now what this is going to do is going to pull up um, the SharePoint that is already linked to your teams because every time you make a team, um, it also makes a SharePoint associated with your team that everybody in the team is already kind of has access to. Um, so if you are just going to do a simple Zoom link, I recommend clicking this um, home page right here and deselect this option about posting to the channel just so you don't have that random update about posting a new tab. And then you're going to click save. Now what's going to pull up is this SharePoint home page um, that is kind of already auto populated with a bunch of different content um, that you will have to go through and delete. So in order to edit the SharePoint page, you're going to go up to this little globe in the top right hand corner that says go to website and you're going to click on that. And it's going to open this up in SharePoint specifically. So you are going to edit this page and kind of get rid of all of this content. So if you go to edit it's going to make it so these boxes are clickable. And when you click on these boxes, some options will show up in the corner right here. And the way to get rid of these blocks is to press the little trash can to delete the web part. So I'm gonna go through and just delete all of these. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a web part. So if you go up here to this little plus button, you're going to be able to pull up a bunch of different options to be able to add different web parts to your SharePoint. Now, if I just want to add a link, there's a bunch of different ways that I could do this. I could link, uh, use this link web part. I could use text to add a link, but I personally like the quick links the best. So I'm going to press click, click, quick links, and you can also search for quick links up here and that will bring it up. Um, pretty quickly as well. Now it's going to auto populate kind of a list of a bunch of um, links. Um, I'm going to rename this at the top to Zoom. And then to add a link, you're just going to press add a link. And it's going to open up this page and you're just going to go to from a link. Now this is where you will want to put in your Zoom room that you've already created. Um, I don't think I have one. Uh, that'll work. And then you are going to press the button down here that says open. Now what this is going to do is going to load that link that you've added to this little quick links bar. And you're going to notice that on the right hand side here, there's a bunch of different options to kind of change what it looks like to the viewer. So you can change the title of this. You could say, um, classroom zoom link. You could even change the thumbnail, what the icon looks like. If you'd really, if you really like to, you could probably find a little video icon. Not super important, but it's kind of fun. Um, and then you're going to click up here, republish. Now what that is going to do is very simply um, have it, uh, it's going to populate a page that has Zoom and then has the handy little link that you can click on. Now when we go back to the Teams page and we kind of reload these things, you'll see that this little home tab right now has the Zoom link that people can easily click. 
um, to change the name of this home tab, which I might want to do so people know that it's the Zoom room. Um, let me do that again. You're going to click this little down arrow. You're going to click rename and then you're going to say maybe Zoom room or something like that. So now it will be really obvious if people are in posts, um, they can see this little Zoom room tab. They can click on it and they can click on this Zoom link. So that is really quickly how to add a Zoom link um, to your Teams page. Um, and hopefully this is helpful for you as you prepare your Teams for the fall.